Okay, uh, I will talk about check list box. We already told about list box. You know how to use it. It is very, very similar to list box. But uh, this has extra feature. So let me create a project and show you how we can add and how we can use check list box in our projects. Okay, from the toolbox, from the toolbox, <clears throat> you can see checklist box is here. I'm dragging and dropping it on my form. And if you want, you can add the items into checklist box during design time. If you want, you can add the items in runtime. How we can edit in design time? You can click Smart Tag menu and click Edit Items. Or you may go to properties after you select check list box and here we have items as we did in uh, list box you can do the same you click items and you can add items here for example red green and blue okay as you see we have three items in the check list box let me increase the font size so you can see easier Okay, um, let's say that <clears throat> I have a text box here and when I click this button, I will add the item given in text box into the checklist box. How I can do that? I'm double clicking button one. Uh, as we did in list box, we can say the same thing, checked listbox one dot items dot add here I'm saying text box one dot text so it will take the content of text box one and it will add it into my checklist box okay uh, but when you look to checklist box you see that every item has a checkbox okay every item in front of every item we have a checkbox. Let me run the project. Okay, I can say black. I'm clicking button and black is added. Okay. And in the meantime, if we want, you can check some items in the checklist box. This is the uh, difference of checklist box according to list box. Okay, but if we can do that, how we can understand which item is selected and what can we do with that? Let me go back to the code part. Here I'm uh, double clicking checklist box and here as you see selected index changed event comes by default. Then what I'm going to do, I am going to the events here and I will change it to item check okay I am clicking item check and now I have item check event subroutine here okay when this happens it means that item is checked or unchecked so when I checked or unchecked this event is triggering Therefore, here I'm going to detect if the item is checked uh, and then uh, I will make my operation, okay? What can be my operation? Let's say that we have, let's say that we have another list box here. Sorry, a list box here. This is check list box. I will put a list box also here. And when I check the item, I will add it into list box. Okay, the checked item. So in the code, I will, first of all, I will uh, take the item checked, or let's say that selected, sorry, selected is better. 
because uh, after I take the item selected by the user, then I will uh, control, or I will, uh, let's say, the check if it is checked or not. Okay, first of all, I'm saying that my item as string and my item is equal to um, check listbox one dot selected item dot to string. So when I say this, it will take the select the, the item uh, that user clicked on it with a mouse. So it is the selected item. But when you select it, this doesn't mean that you check the checkbox. I mean this, let me show you. Look, this is my checklist box. I'm clicking on blue, but I didn't check it. So this is selected item, but not checked. Or I click red, this is selected item. So I am taking that, I am taking that item. Here I am taking that item, the selected item. After that, I need to check if it is checked, if the checkbox, the corresponding checkbox is checked or not. If, if E dot new value, this E is an argument of this method, okay? E dot new value is equal to check state checked. If this means that if this uh, the clicked uh, item is checked, the checkbox of the clicked item is checked, this means that, then I am going to add this into the list box. So list box one dot items dot add item. Okay, let's see if it runs properly. Okay, I am selecting items here as you see. For the green, I selected and I checked it. So it is added into the list box. Okay, is okay? Okay, now if I remove this checkbox, I want it to be removed from the list box. So let's do it. Here I said that if a new value is checked, then add it into list box. Okay, else, else means uh, it's unchecked. Then I will ask list box items dot remove item. It will remove the item from the list box. Here I'm changing the font of list box as well. Okay, then I am running the project and here I am checking red, I am checking blue and I am removing red, I am adding green, I am removing blue, removing green. You see, the usage of checklist box and list box are the same. We have one difference, checklist box, uh, the items in the checklist box have their own checkboxes. This is the difference. And this is the way how we can uh, understand if uh, the item is checked or not. Any question?